obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves. I expect a good, clean fight. Go. Excuse me. To do so, can avoid punches and move with sophistication around the ring. Here's some body punching. I come forward and lead with his head. If he butts Arturo, Arturo's definitely going to cut. For his part, Reyes Munoz said to us, I know I'm unknown. I can see this is just for far-sightedness, but he does appear to squint and blink as he moves around the ring. Yeah. Munoz not able to get off many punches, and you can see that Munoz's left eyelid seems to be drooping downward a little bit. See his jab. Swelling under the eye. Yeah, he swells around the left eye when you look at it. <laughs> well, when he walks out of the dressing room. For, you know. Gotti showing good patience with his jab tonight. Gotti moving and boxing as round one comes to a close. Down goes Reyes Munoz on a left hook. Gotti blinking his left eye as he went to the neutral corner, but you can see Munoz bleeding from the nose, swelling from the left eye, wobbling around the ring, and Eddie Cotton calls it. That's the end of that. A first-round knockout in his return to the ring for Arturo Gatti. Here's the knockout. Yep. Overhead right. Yep. You're right, Roy. Followed by a left hook. Both punches significant, I think. The overhand right landing on the top of the skull, the left landing on the right temple, and those are two places where you can damage your opponent. You're right, and some people will wonder how does a punch like that do so much damage, but realize that this is where that extra 15 pounds comes into play. This guy is 145, taking a punch from a 160-pounder. That's why it's good for guys sometimes to be able to beef up like that. I used to do that at the 160-pound limit. The winner by technical knockout, Arturo!